how to reset your Android smartphone to factory settings. So let's say that you have an Android smartphone and for whatever reason, you would like to erase all data and reset the phone so that it'll be as if you just purchased the phone in terms of the software. Obviously, if you've been using it, it's not a brand new phone, but in terms of the software, you would be resetting it to where it is if you had just purchased and turned on this phone for the first time. We are going to do that. We're going to also show you how to do that shortly. So why would anyone want to reset their phone to factory settings? There could be a number of reasons. Maybe there's a hardware issue and something is causing certain applications to crash. Maybe you'll see a screen uh, uh, showing up. Oh, this app has stopped working. This app has stopped working. More of a hardware issue like that, it's not necessarily narrowly not, sorry, not necessarily guaranteed that you're going to be able to fix that if there's a problem with your phone being laggy or pop-ups of some sort, like this app has stopped working, this app has stopped working. It's possible that this could provide a temporary fix, but if there's a hardware problem like that with your phone, I say hardware because it's possible that you could reset your phone and eventually the same thing will keep happening. But if you've been using a phone and eventually you start noticing some kind of issue that no matter how much you research it, you can't seem to get rid of that problem, might be worth resetting your phone, but just keep in mind that if you choose to go that route, you will need some time. So, so definitely create in your schedule some time for doing this because it's not a quick process because you'll have to go through the whole setup process. Remember, as if you had just purchased this phone in terms of the software. Resetting to factory settings. Before you do that, I highly recommend a few things. First, write down any settings you might have. For example, the screen timing out, um, uh, after it's like sleep mode after a few minutes, however many minutes it is, 30 minutes, one minute, two minutes. If you had a ringtone, if you had certain applications, if you had any passwords for those applications, write all that down. Your contacts, go to your contacts, write down the number, the names, everything, everything you can think of that you really rely on heavily uh, with this phone. Write it down because that's all going to be lost. Remember, you're resetting it. It's like someone just gives you a new phone. Here you go. And now you're turning it on those applications, they'll be erased. So if you use a, something for your train ticket, if you use an app, that two-step verification for work, write all those down so you don't forget because those will, it might be easy to think now, oh, well, I'll be fine. But if you use a lot of apps and you have passwords for those apps, write those down and write your contacts down so that when you reset, so that when you reset your phone, you can quickly enter that stuff back in so that your phone will be brand new. And in terms of settings, the same way that you're using it before. So how do we do this? So let's go to settings. Right here, it's a little bit dark, so I apologize. Okay, that's better. Now you want to go all the way down, scroll down. Uh, this is an Android phone. I don't know if all Android phones have the same interface. This is the one I have, the blue J9L. I just recently stopped using it. Sorry, there's just not much light in here. Uh, a little bit better. Oh, okay, focusing. Okay, good, focusing. So you want to scroll all the way down to system. Now advanced, that's going to bring a little drop down. Reset options. Now here's the one that we're looking for. Factory reset. Erase all data. Now it's going to ask you the same thing that really I was talking about. This will release all data from your phone's internal storage, including your Google account, apps, settings, user data. So things like contacts. Uh, maybe not contacts if they're on your SIM card, but uh, just to be sure, you should write down your contacts in case you don't have those when you your phone is restarted. Okay. Erase all data. So this was just something I was logged into at Opera browser. I had downloaded it. Erase all data. Now let's see what happens. Did I, did I press the button? Okay. Giving you one last time to say no if you really don't want to. Erase all your personal information. Uh, downloaded apps. You can't undo this action. Makes sense. So what's going to happen is it's going to start going through this process of resetting. And this is if you had just turned on your phone. <clears throat> after purchasing it right out of the box, this is what's going to happen. Now you're just going to have to go through the typical setup process, the Android setup process. In this case, submit company blue. So there might be some blue specific setup options. If you want to subscribe to emails, uh, uh, connecting to Wi-Fi, etc. And that's it. That's, that's all you need to know. And you just have to go through the setup process. See, it says, I don't know if you can see it. It says erasing, uh, kind of, a. uh, not sure if says it says erasing. Sorry, the low lighting here is just causing a little bit of a problem. But it's 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 moving right now. It is going through that process of erasing whatever data and settings and apps you had there, the memory. And now this is your now this is gonna be your phone right out of the box. 
And again, it's not going to be guaranteed to fix any issues you've been having. I mean, sometimes there might be a situation where you have all these apps, something is causing a problem, but the research isn't really indicating to you why your phone is having a problem, especially with, oh, this app keeps closing, this app keeps closing. Might be a situation for that, but again, make sure you write down what apps you have because it's easy to say now, oh, I'll just get everything back. But if you use apps for work or for, the, for your, for your um, transportation ticket digitally, you will need those, obviously, together with any passwords that you had. So we're resetting our phone to factory settings. It's not going to necessarily solve any problems, but if you're giving this phone away to someone else, if you're selling it, or if you're just, yeah, even the first one, if you're just giving it away to a friend maybe, this is a good way to ensure that they can just start brand new and customize it however they like without having any of your previous information here unintentionally, if that's not what you intend. So that was it, how to reset your Android phone. In this case, this is a blue smartphone made by the company Blue to factory settings as if you had just purchased the device. This phone was a little bit problematic, which is why I decided to do, to do the demonstration here because I'm not really gonna be using it anymore. So I didn't mind erasing everything. I just switched to a new phone because this particular one, the J9L was just, for me having, there's a little bit of a problem where it was taking a long time to start up. That might actually be the case here. It was just taking a long time to turn on. So I don't mind using this phone as a demonstration, erasing the factory settings. So in a normal circumstance, this one seems to be taking a long time to start up. You're then going to be able to go through the process of setting up the phone. You'll see the options, connect to Wi-Fi, subscribe to emails, um, etc. And that is it, how to reset your phone to factory settings. Sorry for being so redundant all the time, but this is something I've done several times because I have some cheap smartphones that have had problems sometimes and I've had to do this just to see if it could fix potential issues. But there is no guarantee that this will solve any problems you might be having if, if that is the reason why you were doing this. Um, however, selling it or just giving away to someone, not a bad idea to just erase everything. That's for, thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. How to reset your Android uh, smartphone to factory settings by going to settings, then the system, advanced, then reset options, and finally erase and follow the prompts. And in norm normal circumstances, this would be setting up uh, this would be all ready for you just to get started. But again, I think this particular advice just for me was having a little bit, a little bit of a problem where it just takes forever to turn on. So looks like we're having the same problem here. But again, normally you will be able to start setting it up. Uh, <laughs> just seems to not be uh, happening here because maybe a little bit of a problem here. Thanks for watching this video, how to reset your Android phone to factory settings.